Could it be that the very mechanisms of diplomacy and routine administration were weaponized to serve as conduits of misinformation and espionage? Welcome to a world where all is not as it seems. In the shadowy corridors of power and politics, the Palestinian organization Hamas, known for its military and political activities, was preparing for war. Yet paradoxically, they were in constant touch with the Israeli government over seemingly mundane issues. Matters as ordinary as export quotas and workers' permits were on the daily agenda. It is here that the plot thickens. Several Israeli and international officials have put forth the assertion that these workers were not merely permit holders, but intelligence gatherers. They are believed to have gathered precise maps of the kibbutzim, the collective communities in Israel, which Hamas would later target. But the web of deception goes deeper. Hamas, aware that their communications were being monitored by Israeli intelligence, cunningly filtered misinformation through these channels. The true plans for the attack were known only to a select group of Hamas leaders, effectively keeping Israeli intelligence in the dark. This subterfuge has left a profound impact on Israeli security officials. They have had to face the bitter truth of their failure to anticipate the assault. The implications of this are far from trivial. They have concluded that relying on intelligence for early warnings of attacks from Gaza is no longer a viable strategy. Nor can the country's formidable military might serve to deter these attacks. A senior Israeli official has stated in no uncertain terms, the only solution is no more relying on intelligence. Deterrence is no longer enough. It is a new paradigm. To summarize, the situation presents a chilling lesson in real politic. Even as Hamas prepared for war, it maintained daily contact with the Israeli government on mundane issues. The workers who were seemingly dealing with routine matters were allegedly gathering intelligence. Hamas cleverly spread misinformation through channels it knew were under surveillance, while the actual plans were held by an elite group. The Israeli security officials' failure to foresee the assault has led to a drastic shift in their approach, moving away from reliance on intelligence and deterrence towards a more proactive strategy of eliminating potential threats. In the grand chessboard of geopolitics, it appears that the rules of the game are being rewritten, and the stakes, they couldn't be higher.